Vas-y, envoie. All on set. <laughs> okay, great. Aaron, thank you for taking the time uh, after your talk. Absolutely. It's, it's a pleasure to have you here, as I said. So, uh, I wanted first, because uh, I think uh, you are even friends, maybe well known, thanks to the SketchUp YouTube, YouTube well, channel. Great. But I wanted first to introduce yourself, and right. when, then we'll talk about uh, a little bit about training and how we can learn to learn a little yeah. bit like that. Because it, we do a bit of the yeah. same job, so please absolutely. introduce yourself. Sure, absolutely. My name is Aaron Dietzen. Uh, I do work for Trimble. I'm part of the SketchUp team. My official title is Product Content Manager for the Trimble A and D division, but a lot of people call me the SketchUp guy. <laughs> so for the last uh, five years or so, a big part of my job has been creating uh, short form training material, videos, specific, mostly on YouTube. So uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun to do. It's so it's been five years and uh, so I've SketchUp? been I've been with the SketchUp team for seven years. Seven years. The first couple of years I was there actually started the position I had was as a sales engineer. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I would go on site with the salesmen or salespeople, and I would answer technical questions or workflow questions. How can I use SketchUp to do this or this or this or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and it was great because I got to try all kinds of different things. I got to learn different ways to use SketchUp. And I had to come up with answers. Uh, it was a really good position. I liked it a lot. But uh, my history before SketchUp was I spent a lot of time training. Mm. And I guess that part of my experience just kind of crept up. And uh, I started making videos uh, kind of in my spare time about how to use SketchUp. So how to do, use a specific tool or a miniature workflow or something like that. Mm. And I just did that more and more. And eventually, uh, those videos became popular and we started to have a bigger YouTube channel. And uh, I ended up at the point where this is my full-time job is creating this kind of learning content. And now it's not just, it's not just me. It did start where it was part of my time, but now we actually have a whole team that creates video content. Yeah, I actually saw one of your videos, I think it was a live, you do a lot mm -hmm. of li yes. live on YouTube. And I mean, like we, do, we try to have like a ded dedicated space for YouTube videos as well. But I saw your studio and I was like, man, there are like three people, <laughs> plus Aaron walking on the video at the same time. One for the chat, one for, so it can big investment, investment in time. Yeah. we. we we, so, I mean, the last couple of years were very strange. Yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so we, back before COVID hit, we, our company was, was getting ready to commit to video in a different way. They, they were committed to buying brand new video gear. We we're moving into a new building. We were going to have a brand new studio. And then COVID hit and we ended up all going home. Mm. So it worked out fairly well because we had a lot of this this video gear that I was able to make a lot of videos from my own house. So I actually was in the garage at first and then it started to get, we weren't sure how long it was going to last, <laughs> but then it started to get cold and it was too cold for the video gear. So we moved into a spare bedroom in my house and I had a studio in my house and that was great. Uh, and just as this thing kept going on, we realized, you know, we need to commit to this. So we started making more and more videos and more live videos. Mm -hmm. For a while there, we were actually going live three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Every week we were doing a different live video and we're kind of embracing the fact that everybody was in this. You know, we were all stuck. And we found the video was huge for us because mm -hmm. we could show the software, we could show how to do it, but we could also interact. So we had the same people coming back. We were having conversations and, you know, and we, we started fostering the community even more, even though we were all remote and locked up, we found that video could help us still stay connected. Mm. And it, it was great. And then once we came out of that, once we came out, we were uh, you know, able to set up the studio. We were able to yeah, get people together and actually do things like yeah, live model with a group of people and, and, and have uh, that, that sort of interaction. But the, the, I like the word that you use, community, because I, I think there is a big French community as well. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. It, it's it's mostly English speaking uh, people, of course, on SketchUp. But in each country, I believe there's a big national communi community. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it's very chill. Like, uh, come on, we can learn together. It's g g in good faith, all in mm -hmm. good faith. And uh, uh, we try to 
to do that even during learning and I believe you try to do that also uh, during your professional training before YouTube. So how do you uh, train the people to train themselves? Let's put it that way. <laughs> It's, it's hard. It's one of the things that uh, I personally worked at and, and, and our group has worked at is, is creating a, a specific way to relay information. Mm. Because one of the things that I try to be very intentional about is get people information without being really a hard school teacher or, or, or you know, a relaxed way of, of presenting information mm. to them. So sometimes some of our training material just feels like it's not even training material. It's just kind of, let's just hang out and talk. Mm. And uh, I kind of made the joke that every once in a while I'll trick somebody into learning something. <laughs> because we'll go in and we'll, yeah, we'll have fun and we're talking about Star Wars or something. And, and, uh, and here's how you use Intersect with Model. And then, well, you know, what's your favorite Star Wars? And then here's how I use Follow Me and Create a Perfect Path. And, and that's the kind of thing that we try to do is mm. we try to make sure that uh, the, the content we create is uh, educational but also enjoyable. Mm. And we do have a community of users that is, I mean, regardless of what country you're in, <laughs> just, uh, just different from any other users out there. Um, we're here at Basecamp, of course, 3D Basecamp 2022. And one of the things that, that, that just always gets us and always blows us away when we do this thing is how much every user here wants to show other people what they do. So it's not just, I've gone to other user conferences before I worked for Trimble and we'd go in and, and people would go, let me show you my work, but I'm not going to show you how I did it. Ah, I That's see. my secret thing. I can't, <laughs> I can't show you that. If I show you that, then what good am I? But here, people just lay everything on the line. Like, here, here's my model, here's how I created it. I'll share the model with you if you want to take a look. Um, I've documented it and I put it on Google Drive and you can download it. And, and it's just an amazing community that's excited to share and see other people, you know, excel the same way they do. So what you're saying is like, you were talking about the speakers showing their work and how I did that, how I did this. But it's also like, Focus on something that you love, whether it be Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars yeah, fan, yeah, so I get what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> but great topic. Or maybe uh, it's I'm an architect. I want to talk about a more architectural de design. So, uh, okay, there is a square. I can push it through. I can use the push pull tool. But mm -hmm. what does it good do for me? Right. I can create an amazing building with it. So, it, and it, all in context is very important. Absolutely, and it's and it's one of the interesting things again that that I find interesting about. Uh, SketchUp specifically is we have a, a very, which you guys see this too, I'm sure, a very broad user base. Yeah, architects, primary professional workflow, mm. but people also use it for interior design and then landscape design and Con product design. Concept design. Concept so. design, mm. uh, furniture design. So it's all over the place and people are still willing to share their what they do and how they do it, even though it's not exactly what they're doing. Mm. You know, so. We'll, we'll walk along and, and there'll be an a interior designer here talking with an architect and they're, they're comparing notes and talking about how they use it. And then somebody who, yeah, who makes tables and chairs will come in and, and they'll start talking too. And, and you can share that information. It's just, it's, it's just nowhere else have I seen a community. Yeah, it's like that sort no of ego or something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, yeah. It's, it's weird because we have some guys who, uh, Nick Sonder is one of the architects who uses mm. it. And he uses it professionally, day in, day out. He creates all of his professional drawings using just SketchUp and layout. Mm -hmm. uh, and he did his. He offered to do a class at boot camp, the, the first part of Basecamp this year. And he ended up doing it four times because it was so popular. We <laughs> filled up a room, so we did it again. That room filled up, so we ended up doing it four different times. And I ran into him this morning. He's just. He's just sitting in a chair talking to somebody and just relaxed and answering questions yeah. for them. And it's just a, a community that, that in, embraces that that sharing of knowledge. That, that's, that's what I like to see. That's why I love the community. So. Absolutely. It's Aaron, thanks a lot again for the, taking the time and have a good uh, base camp. Thank you very much. It's great. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. C'est bon? So Aaron, thanks a lot for taking the time and speak a bit about it and uh, to share with our French viewers. So thanks again. 
Absolutely. Thanks a lot for, for yeah. sharing. Thanks you for Thank your time. You. And uh, good sketch of Buscan. Good game. Yeah. <laughs> Buscan. <Great. laughs> okay, we let's do it again. Camp, but that's, that's cool. Towers too. Coupe pas la caméra. I'm going to do it. Sure, we'll do it again. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Rewind. Rewind, replay. Rewind, replay. Exactly. There you go. Aaron, thanks a lot again for watching. Yeah. Now you're thinking <laughs> too much. Stop thinking. Okay. No thinking. Just go. I, I, I'm going to count to seven and it'll be fine. One, okay. two. I don't know why seven. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Aaron, thanks a lot again for taking the time. Absolutely. And have a good uh, sketchup bootcamp. Yeah, absolutely. Base camp. Ooh, you were so close. Let's do it again. <laughs> this is it. Third tries a charm. Yeah.